Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, everybody. We're going to continue Saga story today. And I just froze. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, everybody. Today we're going to continue Saga story. And before we do, we have some stuff for the case board here that I forgot to do last time. Uh, the story is affecting more people's memories. Um, let's see. Light and dark presence. How does the story change reality rules? There we go. It's not just Rose. Ilmo and Yako are affected, too. How long before my memories are affected? And this one here is for later. So that's all we got there. So we need to... Oh, we never got this. What's in here? More flares. All right. I'm going to drop some stuff off into the storage chest, and then we're going to go over to the lighthouse trailer park. It's time to head over to the trailer park now. So we're going to have to head back through past the, uh, the gift shop here where we just were. And somehow get over to the trailer park. Oh, there's a chest right here. More ammo. Cool. Looks like we'll probably have to go down that way to that gate there, more than likely. And literally all of the porta potties are out of out of order. How is the porta potty out of order? Like, there's no running water. There shouldn't be anyway, right? I don't know, maybe just people just poop too much. They're just full of turds. Okay, let's go down this way. So there's a little bit that we haven't really looked at over here. I might go ahead and take a look at that. And if I find anything like this, then I'll uh, let you guys know. If not, then we'll just uh, continue on down to the trailer park. Oh, what's this here? The Mocha the Moose. Okay, a moosing mocha fax. Oh, jeez, a moosing. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? Mocha loves to swim. Did you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? Great. Mocha the moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside of the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, brewing up some of Coffee World's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's signature blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World, welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha seal of approval. Didn't the note earlier say that Mocha died and they speculated it was like from too much caffeine? See you lot, lot to, oh my gosh. The puns are unbearable. Okay, so we've already been over this way. Okay. So I feel like we're, we could get down through this way and down. That's probably going to be the way we need to go through the exit. But there's like that gate over there that I want to check before we actually go down this way. Because it's probably locked, but that's okay. Oh. Oh. I just found a stash key back here behind this coffee pot is there where was the one at that was locked is there so there's a point of interest here point of interest there have we not i guess we might as well check those out so there's gonna be a stash box around here that's locked that we can't get into so we're gonna need to keep a lookout for that because we've got the key for it oh over here okay buddy Sit down. I think there's more of them. What is this? All these drawings? Okay. We're gonna need to... I don't know what I did to trigger these guys coming in, but... See, sometimes this just doesn't work very well. Like, look at that. I don't get it. I don't know why that's not working. Sometimes. I thought it was because it was too far away before, but now it's just randomly not working at all. 
Okay, so let's take a look over here. We don't, we haven't gone down this way, which I think is just around, take us back around to where we just were. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's also a point of interest up behind the gift shop that we didn't see, I guess. So I'm going to take a look at it real quick. Okay, it's pointing me back to this poster, so I think it might just not have gone away yet. Um, even though that we've already, we got that in the last episode. Anyway. Okay, so can we get over to the gate? I think we can. Yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, you can't see me. See, why does that work sometimes? Sometimes it doesn't. Like, I just don't get it. Look at that. What the hell? This is so dumb. Like, why do I have to hit her three or four times with that? I don't get it. I really don't understand that at all. Whatever. It's fine. The Huatari Well from 1913. Legend says this is the... Oh, here. Legend says this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watery's history, this is very well... This very well was where... Elmari Hutari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother Jacopi Hutari. Wait. That's Ilmo and Yako. What? Okay. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But it was... But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well that meets the eye? That's too much of a coincidence that those names are so similar. Too much. Okay, let's look around here. Okay, there's a uh, stash box here. What hides behind the smile? Okay, so that's the one we found a little bit ago. Okay, cool. Coffee World stash key. There we go. So we got some arrows, 9mm ammo, and some shotgun ammo. M and T were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. M and T. Okay. All right, I'm going to go get back in the light real quick. And then we're going to go put these on the case board. Okay, F cases. Cult of the tree. Found Note found in the cult of stash mentioning M and T. Okay, let's see who's involved, maybe? Yeah. Mulligan and Thornton. MNT could stand for Mulligan and Thornton. Okay. Were those the cops, possibly? I can't remember. Watery area. No, inside reference cult members, MNT. Okay. All right. Nothing else back here for us. No entry staff only. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. That makes sense. I kind of figured that was going to be locked. Espresso es Express. Okay. Oh. I thought the music stopped and just like faded out or really hard right there. Still very faintly hear it in the background. What's this? The fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Okay. So we're gonna have to find the fuse. Oh, while we're fixing the fuse, don't know why we would need to do that. Okay, nothing around the sides. Let's go ahead and go up onto it. Whoops. It's 
so quiet. Yeah, we're going to have to find the fuse. I'm wondering, did we read something about that before? About the repairs? Ooh, this one's missing. Wait, how do I get down in there? Wait a second. There's a... There's definitely going to be a bad prompt right there, boy. I'm going to have to get down in there somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where are we right now on the map? We're right here. So there's a point of interest there. What is that? The X? Maybe the well? Yeah, it's the well. So we're going to have to go down here and then work our way down. Let's check out that point of interest. It might be the... Uh, this here, which I think it is. We've already read. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know why those stick around, even though we've already read them. All right. See you, Latte. Lost cat. It's the same cat over and over again. Okay. Okay, so which way is the trailer park? Either way. Okay. Oh, it's just the roads right there. Okay. I'm going to circle back around here. Let's see. I just, I've got, I, I don't know. Like, I've probably said it a thousand times, but I just like to explore. I want to see everything. So there's some rocks here. So there's going to be a lunchbox around here somewhere. So that goes up to the lighthouse. Let's look down the road here, because I think it's... Is it flooded? Oh no, this is to the bridge. It takes us back into Watery. Right? Yeah, because we went down that way. That's where Yako and Ilmo were, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. Should we go up to the lighthouse? I think we should. Okay, so it looks like there's a safe room up here right before we get to the lighthouse there. So let's go ahead and save it. Yeah, I don't see any pages in this one. Okay. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Still haven't seen that, um, the lunchbox either. Lighthouse at Watery. Okay, so there's a bad guy over there. couple of them. They haven't seen me yet. That one needs a uh, lock or a key. Wrong button. This pistol sucks. Parasite. Sit down. I really don't like the pistol. I can't hit anything with it. The spread kind of sucks on it. Sit down. Where'd this one go? Wait. Oh, right there it is. Oh, I can't get my... Man... That sucks. I want to get my arrow back. Only got six left. Okay. Can we get into the lighthouse? Possibly. Sweet. Got my arrow off of that guy. Yeah, it stuck right in your face hole, didn't it? Right in your damn face hole. Oh, another riddle? Yes. Wait. Is this going to be with the moose, too? Pro well, yeah, probably, because it's still in the same water area, right? An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. Okay, well, maybe not the moose. Oh, maybe Another rhyme. I just knocked that coffee off there, I believe. Okay. I wonder if it's inside the lighthouse statue. Oh. 
There's one. Mother doll. Wise elder doll. Trickster doll. I don't have the key. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the uh, the key for that. Okay, so let's um let's check back there, make sure nobody's walking up on us. Go to case board, and then we'll go over to nursery rhymes. Then we've got the dolls. Strange dolls. Trickster doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Has nice details, but it gives me the creeps. Wise elder doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. What is that? A sledgehammer? Do wise old men usually carry those? Oh. Holding the belly a bit in the nose for my taste. Okay. All right. So let's check this out again. An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak, and in doing that wrong, lost his soul song. So the trickster. No. Keep trying. Curse the waters that ruined his eyes. Oh, okay, ruined his eyes. Right. There we go. Okay. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be in the... Did that open up down there? Is it going to be in that... The shipwreck? The boat? Maybe? Okay, let's take a look at this now. Rhyme found outside the watery lighthouse. Okay, watery rhymes. Rhyme about an old man who became a monster. Okay. Okay, so some of them are super easy to do that, but some of them are such a pain. I don't really understand it. Okay, he didn't drop anything for us. Can we get in there now? I wonder if that unlocked the door. Need the key. Yeah, no. I think I'm going to go down here and check out the um, the boat real quick. Save it. Oh. Oh, wait. Can I get up here? Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, so this is up above the uh, safe safe house. She's breathing really heavily. Box. Okay. This one doesn't have any sort of indication on it. What? Let's take a look and see what the, um, oh. Three, two, one. So one is, they're on top of each other upside down. Two, they're on top of each other right side up. Three. They're side by side, upside down. Wait, what? How many of these are there? One, they're on top of each other, upside down. Wait, two, they're on top of each other, right side up, right? These are side by side? No? Oh. There we go. Okay. That was fairly simple. Pain tank, arrows, and 9mm ammo. Collect. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us. 
So I'm offering a $100 Superstore gift card plus a year's worth of free coffee at Oh Dear Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. Okay. Tor and Odin Anderson. The cult was really serious about recruit, recruiting Tor and Odin. Okay. Cult stashes. You know, the note inside offers incentives for getting the Anderson brothers on board. Okay. Okay, cool. So I was up here, so... Alright. Now we can go and save it. There's just some very heavy breathing right there, and I don't like it. I can't tell if it's just us... Or if it was just that area. Okay, I think that this was blocked off beforehand. Let's see if we can get over here. Okay. There it is. I kind of figured it would be down here. Okay, I'm so what is quite the charm collection? Yes, you are. What does this one do? Increases max amount of health restored in safe havens. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not going to apply it yet. I like the ones that we have. And since we're playing this on like a normal mode, the health isn't a big concern. Oh. So what are those lights on the back of there? What are the lights on the back of them? Oh, I didn't reload that. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should be using, like, the propane tanks and stuff. Huh. And they're dropping. Thank you for that. That's, holy crap, I was out. I didn't even realize. Glad they drop items whenever you need them. Med kit. I don't need a med kit. Ugh. Saga Anderson, med kit collector. something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... <laughs> Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat, you... You know all that FBI business when it was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then, what was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki! Thanks, Tapio! It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. But Yako and Elmo put you up to this. Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and and we'll be back after this. Okay. Well, Wendy's dead, but not dead? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. My first watery visit.
I'm staying near the lighthouse trailer park at a nice little spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake, but here, I don't know, something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could swear I heard someone moving around, circling. I'm going to give it one more night and then move on. Okay. All right. Wait around that stinking cuckoo clock, dude. I was trying to, th uh, I want to listen to those because I, I feel like they're going to give hints to things that we might need to keep a lookout for, like possibly eventually running into like a cuckoo clock or something. So, never know. Okay, so we're at the trailer park now. Only took us all day to get here, but that's okay. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Okay. So this is going to come back out to the road. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's... Yeah. So what's down that way? Okay, so that's going to take us to wherever that goes. And then the workshop. I am going to run down this road real quick. Because I have a feeling there's probably going to be a lunchbox down there. There was a thing here. A lunchbox thing here. Or like the, the stones, but I never found it. Um, and we looked all through this area. Um, and didn't find it. So I'm going to go down this way. And we'll come back down here. If I find something, I'll bring you back. Okay, so... I decided to come over here. I still haven't found the bolt cutters we need. With my bare hands. But we're now... Obviously, there's nothing down this way. But we're at the workshop area now. Um, and this looks like where they're making the floats at. The Caluella Ella Knights. The Ella Ella A A A A. But this is where the gate was that we couldn't get through earlier. I don't know. I just want to explore everything else before we actually go to where we need to go. I'm weird. I'm weird. Keep you guys on edge, I guess. All right. So what is this? Oh, it's the uh, mask. Atari butchered his victim with his Puko knife. That's why the Puko knives. Oh, let's put the Puko knife there. Knife. Okay. Oh, let's put this cassette tape in there. Creepy laughing for atmosphere. <laughs> Rutari swung the knife, stabbing again and again. Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. Okay, so I'm wondering if we're going to have to find something else for this and we just don't have it yet. Either way, that's going to just be creepy as hell. And that wraps up my list of favorite park benches in Bright Falls. And now, I just oh, there's the radio. Hear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which of course is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm going to give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No. This is Jim Figamore. Remember? We were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that... Was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater. And... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor. <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's, uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene. 
and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls, spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello, to glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. Now, Jim, <laughs> this is a family show. I wonder if it's the same. Maybe he killed the cat from the cat posters. Why don't we pivot to some questions. First question. What exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right. So it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. <laughs> the only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. <laughs> Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh, I, I actually had more. Jim, Jim Figamore and Pat Main signing off. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if they killed the cat that was on the posters. I know I said it earlier. So we can't get back into that area yet. I don't believe so. Anyway. But I, that's two... Um, that's two of the... The things for the lunchboxes. These... That we've seen but haven't actually found a lunchbox yet. Okay. So here's another one of these... Mayor Setter's not, Mayor afraid, Setter of the rough not afraid of the rough questions. Not at all. Some donuts. Noise. Okay. Safe room. Quick save. Shoebox. No manuscript page. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. That's fun. And they said that we were going to run into a Taken here, right? Okay. For the Anderson trailer? What? Sweetie pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. 
The Andersons! Vikings! Gods! So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Thor! Sarasoga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father! <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Yeah, so... Odin? Things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime. At our resting place, Valhalla. Nursing home. So... Oh, I see Odin and Thor. Odin and Thor. I don't know. I don't know too much about mythology, but that's what they're going for. In Valhalla Nursing Home. Okay, let's talk to this guy real quick. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Thor Anderson? Odin Anderson? The old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, God damn it! A Viking goddess! I like the sound of that. Tor, Odin, Saga. All Norse inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? No, Did the horror so. story change their names to match mine? Okay, so we're gonna go into so the mine place after we talk to these guys. The trailer is? right behind us we've been looking after it since you left uh-huh thanks for your help anytime kiddo it looks like you two have had a bit too much fun she sees right through us bro she has the power this calls for a fucking celebration our little saga all grown up and finally home Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. <laughs> Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay, never mind. <laughs> These guys are great. Okay, let's take a look at this real quick. So we got a profiling, I believe. No, we don't. Okay. Um, oh. Cases. All right. Fact versus fiction. All right. <laughs> My life in water. No. Which parts are false? Which parts, if any, are real? Okay. So the story is giving me wacky relatives now. Still, there's something off about these guys. Okay. Tornoden of the same last name as me. Not exactly an uncommon surname, though. Could be a coincidence. Pretty big one, but hmm. Mom never talked about her family. Anytime I ask mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Okay. Alright, let's take a look around the yard here. Okay, yeah, see, here's more of that. Are we gonna find one? Finally? That'd be great. Another Alex there Casey lunchbox? Those you can overcome adversity to achieve your goals. Okay. All right. Go over here. Cases. Alex Casey lunchbox. Watery area. There were some positive affirmations inside. Cute. So there's three more here. So we're missing one there, which I, we know where that one's at. 
Cauldron Lake area. It's inside the uh, the one place. We haven't found any in Bright Falls. And who's left these? Oh, so we're going to eventually hopefully find out who left them. Okay. All right. So that's number two, the Anderson trailer. Let's go ahead and get in here. We've piddled around long enough, right? So this is our place? Reeks of booze. Oh yeah, I mean, look at this place. Beer bottles, beer bottles. So Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. Mm-hmm. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday. So be sure to give yourself yourself some special treat <laughs> tweetment. Great. Love you, Logan. Grandma F. Washington Power Saga Anderson 6 Watery Lighthouse Trailer Parkway Unit 2 Watery Washington. Washington Power make check payable to Washington Power PO. These guys are Oh, they're just talking outside. Okay, so that the bus from the last episode that brought all the elderly people into town brought them into town. Okay. Okay, let's look around a little bit more here before we go back into the mine place and put those on the wall. Nothing here. Why is it moist? Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This I is mean, getting it, too real. Oh too yeah. Personal. Okay. Nordic Tales and the Nordic folklore. Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. Junior federal agent. Congratulations to the Bureau's newest recruit, Logan Anderson. You have successfully completed junior agent training. Date 8-15-2018. Signature Logan Anderson. Bon. Logan used to love her music. True Colors 2018 tour. Okay. Wait, was there something else there? Right here. The Kind Stranger, the Very Old House, the Rib Ribbon Hearted Girl. Okay. Wait. Missed something else too. What's this? Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay. Let's take a look over here. My new found relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyval and Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Okay, so Mulligan is a cultist. What the fuck is going on here? I don't want to. There's more stuff in there for us. Where's he at? There he is. One and two. Okay, I can't God get. Damn it. it! And now they're all taken. Shh. 
Okay, so this is where we were a little bit ago. It's what the it was referring to in that cutscene. Get too close to him, he that freaks out. Logo wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. Okay. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. Okay, well, where, what? What happened to the, the two cultists, the police officers that were here? Take that. Steal all your ammo. Okay. When in doubt, throttle it out. Okay, lock combination. Hey, Ilmo, I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley cup coffee. Doesn't help me. Okay, so we found that already. Sauna night. Thanks everyone for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. All the condiments are welcome, of course. Ilmo. Son of night. Ilmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes, and he's wrong about ketchup, too. It's obviously chili mayo or nothing, <laughs> Marv. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Ilmo, and who would pick mustard over ketchup? Ketchup's gross. Ketchup's the worst condiment ever. Hello, fellas. I suggest we start regular sauna night now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard, but BYOB. Okay, so this is going in... Um, different order okay um hello i've seen some of your place our stashes in the open some i've seen some of you place our stashes in the open please don't do that you rascals <laughs> that was from elmo so emo and, and yako are part of it right yeah yako this is your final warning to stop talking taking the oop out of the assembly hall you want to get drunk in the workshop, fine, but the OOP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. Paycheck. Hi, Uncle Ilmo. Hope you're well. Charlene and I still haven't received our paychecks from last month's Coffee work World promo work. Are you sure you sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you that her suit still smells weird. Charlie. Float work. The Deerfest floats are eating up our space. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. I can't even find my left hand, even though it's attached to me. But I will keep my boot up. But I will find a boot, my boot up someone's ass if you all keep making a mess, Ilmo. Okay, so that was that was all of them there. Okay, I'm gonna go to the mind place real quick. Cause we got a lot. We got a lot, we got a lot. Okay, the story, fact versus fiction, trail of the cult. So let's go to the story first. Okay, so Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Um, no. Okay, so how does the story change reality rules? Maybe Wake can't invent wholly new ideas, has to use what already exists. So that one's for later, okay. Call to the tree. Vote of Tor and Odin with the cultists. So who's involved? There we go. Tor and Odin are clearly friendly with the Call of the Tree, not conclusively members. Okay. Fact versus fiction. Okay, we got a lot of this. Logan's part in the story. <laughs> no. Logan's not dead. Story is just trying to hurt me. It's not real. Logan loves Bond. It took her to a. I took her to a concert for her twelfth birthday. This isn't fake. I remember this. It was take your daughter to work day. Logan was maybe eight. This happened. Mom gave this to Logan when she was a baby. The stories are a bit scary, but she loved the pictures. This is real. <clears throat> I don't recognize the card, but that's definitely mom's handwriting. Okay. Oh, my life in watery. Duh. Uh -huh. 
This bill is in my name, dated February 22nd, 2018. Okay. Then we have the Trail of the Cult. Uh, I pushed the wrong one. Trail of the Cult. There we go. The photo proved the cult had the clicker. Thor and Odin were in it too. Worth following up on later. Okay, clicker at the garage. Okay. What the hell is an OOP? Is it connected to the clicker? That's what I thought. I thought like maybe that was like a code word for the clicker, but I don't know. That means the clicker could be useful here. I need to be careful. The clicker could be you could be here. I need to be careful. Okay. All right. So there's this here. They okay, must so be another. in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Oh, we'll figure it out. Another deer You're head. A handsome deer. What is her obsession with deer? Every time we see a new deer head, she's like, ooh, deer. Oh, it's a manuscript page. Here we go. Deputy just make a grave mistake. Maybe we'll check that out in a second. I wonder, oh, there's something here as well. I wanted the med kit that I definitely will need in the future for sure, 100%. Um. But these has the same markings as the lighthouse one um, stash box. Let's take a look at this real quick. So we got the case board. We have the cult of the tree. Bring it. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe. The thrill of domination. This was a cult of the tree. There we go. Confirmed cult members. The page describes Mulligan and Thornton as members of the cult of the tree. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Hey, stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe. Opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. The last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Okay. So. We need to figure that out. I'm going to read these again. Real quick. To see if I overlooked something. And then, if not, we're going to head back to the trailer park. Because we missed a bunch of stuff. You can pick up those crochet dog sweaters at the Sunday market. And while you're there. Go visit Wendy Davis and grab some of Gross. our sponsor's famous beef jerky. Up next, we've got Deer Fest. Oh, hold on. Oh, come in. Which, which button is, is that? Hello? Uh, wrong line. Oh, hold on. Uh, hello, hello. You're on with Patman. Not in a second. Yeah. Gil Davis here. What a pleasant surprise. We have Gil Davis on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. No, oh my gosh. What's that? Just stop. Whatever this is you're doing, stop. I don't want to talk over it because it's annoying. I'm not sure I <laughs> Gil. There's no such thing as Davis Family Beef Jerky. I don't sell beef jerky. I've never made beef jerky. I don't particularly like beef jerky. I'm getting crazy phone calls for jerky orders, day and night. You got confused old ladies all over this goddamn town on the hunt for imaginary beef jerky, asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki, which clearly isn't a thing. Uh, <laughs> you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday selling it. Wendy is dead, Pat. No, that's, that's, 
That's not right. <laughs> I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. They found her body. She's dead. We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that's, that's just not true. She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke's gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Stop. Gil? Uh, I, I, I think we're out of time. Uh, dog sweaters from Sunday Market. And, uh, yeah, Pat Main signing off. So he's like, so that's kind of like going along with the story there where some people remember some things and some people are seeing, you know, like Saga and her daughter and all that. So he's seeing this dude's wife and the beef jerky, but the other people haven't been affected yet, maybe. I don't know. Dear mom, as I promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school. She'll have her pick of any college with the grades she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making our apartment into a home, training staff and shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent chase lounge would be so hard? All going well. Don't worry about us. Hope all is well with you too. Love, Megan. Okay. I don't know if we know who Megan is. Anyway, let's go. Okay, can we get into this trailer? Maybe possibly. Hello, Yako. Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Gearfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed deer fest parade floats floats created by the award-winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club winners of the last year's trophy for best deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer that very <laughs> team and you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs <laughs> we've done it all Deer fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <laughs> Our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just deer fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs, or your gonna scenario. Our floats will punch up <laughs> any special occasion. <laughs> Why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deer Fest last year. Flows were pretty good. One of them was a squad. And that was stuff people liked it. And there you have it. <laughs> Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will... <laughs> Knock you off your feet! <laughs> Order yours today! I mean, these commercials are the best. Okay, let's have watch her stroke another deer. Okay, so before we go back that way, obviously it's FBI. There's a picture of our daughter. Okay, the plot thickens. Murder at the manor house an ar architectural mystery by margaret formo a pun book from elmo are we close you. in the story the plot chickens oh my god that might explain some of his behavior the plot chickens oh it's that one okay uh by reese watts excellent puns for the comedy hen in your life because i know you love a good pun elmo okay did i leave the bureau in this fictional reality Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. 
we could use that insightful mind of yours. So we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Morrow. Criminal Justice, Critical Look at the Broken System by R. Morrow. Okay. I thought that might have been the same person, but they were spelled differently in different first names. Okay. So it looks like everything in here. Um, let's go back here again, because there was something right there. There it is. Okay, so here are the pictures. Logan. Oh, so that's uh, our uncles there. Or, yeah, Odin and Tor. There's Logan and probably Daddy playing video games. Some of these here, too. So, to Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Okay, so Old Prisoners of Asgard, obviously, those are, that's the band from the musical. So, th it would be these two here. They're just older. Okay. Night Springs, new season coming soon. That's the DLC. Okay. Cases, fact versus fiction. All right. Logan's drawings found in the trailer. Some real things are mixed in with the fiction. Doesn't matter. It's not real. It's not. These drawings look like the guys I met outside. Tor and Odin. My life in watery. In the story, I looked... I took a leave of absence from the Bureau. Looks like it was a present. Were we close? Must have been. Um, I am wondering, though, if we should go back up here where we found that stash box and look at those other... Um, the other ones that were there. The other things that were glowing because the... Inside of here, that locked door had the same symbols on it. So maybe there's a four, five, and six. Okay, so there are three more. So, there's this one that's got a square. This one that has a triangle. This one that has a circle. And that one has got a diamond. And I think that's it. Is there a lunchbox over there? More of those kids' lunchboxes. There we go. That was fairly simple to get to. I'm just an idiot. I missed it. But then, almost at the same time, but not quite, another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood friend's strange twin brother, a rugged ex-soldier who helped me fight back the zombie horde. With his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket, my heart fluttered like a small bird against his cage. Ignore them, babe. You know... I'm who you want. The sensitive friend I had cared for all my life, for the intense warrior I had known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. Okay, that was another part of the uh, the fan fiction they were writing. Oh, wrong button. Okay. All right, let's go over here and lunch boxes. There we go. More fan fiction and boy what a cliffhanger all right okay so i decided to take a screenshot of all of those up top there and i will reference them if needed but we're going to go back to the workshop because it's still the next objective is to um, investigate the workshop so we'll try to figure it out of course, now might be a point in time that we have to go back to Alan to progress our story, too, because th it works like where you can only get so far, I think, into the story as one person before you have to switch back. And it goes back and forth like that. So, so we'll see. Okay, so up top, there's, it doesn't look like the, the ones up top are for it. It looks like this here. The lock combination. Can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. So, there's going to be a smiley coffee cup. Is it here or is it back 
in coffee world? That's the question. Look inside the smiley coffee cup. Oh, inside the smiley coffee cup. Okay, so there's... There's that. So there's one of them. So there, there's that one. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. There? Is that not right? Or is this one upside down? There we go. Okay, cool. Got it, got it. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters even? Nope. I want to go back in there. I need to get, I want to see what's behind the door, dingus. Yeah, so this is possibly... I mean, there's a bunch of deer masks, but there's also the symbols everywhere, so it kind of feels like it might be. Okay. Nothing there. Quick save. There's a basement. Oh no, the basement. Oh, what's this? Okay. Observation report, subject, the cult of the tree. In summary, intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the cult of the tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington state. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiries should be made as to the exact details of the sources of their knowledge regarding paranorm paranatural elements. Investigation unit recommends the cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file 1821-1027 for full report and recommended action. Summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont at the Cauldron Lake Research Site as both operate in a shared area. Addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No arrest due to prioritization of resources. So they didn't arrest them. You were right. These sneaky efforts are watching us, and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. Rose Marigold observations. Leaves home in a car. Arrives at Oh Dear Diner. Opens restaurant. Spills a cup of coffee. Stares at the coffee puddle and seems delight. Suddenly delighted. Begins talking at, at, am, animatedly to the puddle. Observe, observer not in diner. Did not hear her. Goes on break. Back from break. Ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook. Couldn't see text. Stares at the ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds. Smiling. Leaves Oh Dear Diner on foot. Stops up here and writes a notebook, stares at clouds, and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up in the sky, not close enough to hear. Leaves pier, arrives at car, enters, watches, arrives home, watches TV, cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV, and goes to bed, reads the sudden stop, turns off light. So they're watching her, Rosemary Gold. This is one weird cult. We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. See it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. This is a tree, a spruce tree. Keep them out. Keep them safe. Together we are a forest called to the tree. Okay. So they're watching the uh, the diner lady that knew us. So that's kind of kind of creepy. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Start here. That light switch you found washed up at the lake. It is not junk. It's important. Trust me on this. From now on, which whenever we catch a target, we're gonna cut out its heart. Stick the thing in, stick this thing inside it, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it'll be like a ritual. This is gonna work. So the clicker, they put the clicker inside of the uh, the heart after they cut it out and flick it. Is that what turns them into like creatures? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Yep, we know that. This will be handy. Bright Falls. Okay. That's it. So these are all the marked locations on the map. Okay. I've marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. Okay. 
This is the cult's process. Their ritual. The ritual for Taken. Surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object. Restrain them, carve out their heart, recite the words. Put the clicker into their chest. Flick the switch two times to make sure it works. Remember floodlights on tripods. We need to see what they're what we're doing. Always work in pairs. So that's how they turn them into Taken? The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. Read, to whoever has been sabotaging lake house equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can F right off. Stay away from the FBC, and if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Everyone, please read. I am not trying to play the blame game, but we cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because we know we can do better. So they can turn them into the Taken, which are the normal people, but if they mess up, does they turn them into like the creatures like Nightingale was? That's what I gather from that. Okay. Mind place. Case board. Cases. Okay. Cult of the tree. Man, we got a lot of information here. Okay, so first one's first. Cultist note about ritual being interrupted. Right. Right there for Nightingale. This confirms the ritual was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use it the clicker. Okay, cultist note admonishing members of sabotaging FBC equipment. Cult psychology. Seems our cultists aren't totally aligned here. Doesn't sound like the true believer types. Steps of the cult ritual. No. Steps of the ritual are listed here, consistent with what we found at Nightingale's murder site. No mention of writing in cult's ritual steps. No. Oh, no mention of writing. There we go. Writing related, but not part of the cult ritual story, manipulating the cult scratch involved. Tattooing isn't list, listed as part of the ritual either. So the cult has no connection with the writing. Okay, so the writing, yeah. The writing that was on the heart. Note about it using the clicker in the cult ritual. <clears throat> the cultists knew the clicker had power. They found it at the lake. So it came out of the lake. Cult symbols. Here we go. Seriously, this would almost be funny if they weren't killing people. Okay, so who's involved? Rose. Rose Marigold. Rose is that waitress from the diner. Is she involved with the cult? Ah, I think she might be. A fuse. Oh, there's the fuse. I can use this to get the Espresso Express working. Yes. Do I need to do that first, or do I go in the creepy basement? I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to make you guys wait for the next episode for the creepy basement. There we go. Good to your bad boy up and running. Look at all. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Thought I heard something over the other way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this to stop, like... Okay, cool. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. All right. Okay, let's get under here. Maybe there's gonna be something down here for us. Oh, that plant coming through the wall scared me. Circuit board. Oh no. Shit. Okay. Good thing no one was writing that. Yeah. It's a good thing you weren't like in, in the middle of it. Just keep putting your head up. Wait. Could I have done that before? There's a manuscript page here. Okay. Let's 
Let's take a listen to that real quick. Deputies corrupted. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. Okay. All right. I wonder what the circuit board is for. Okay. Sit down. Wait, there was two of them? Another one up there. Okay, did you guys drop anything for me? No. I want to take care of this guy so he doesn't come up on me while I'm over at the workshop. You drop something for me. I like the crossbow, but I feel like sometimes it just doesn't work as well. I want to use it more because we got a ton of arrows for it, taking up a lot of space. Okay. I wonder if the circuit board's for this here. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. A little something to get those arms moving. So we need to find a mask for that. Can we get a mask for the for this guy, and that's going to complete it, maybe? Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to call this episode. I'm going to save it real quick. Thank you guys so much for for watching. Uh, I am going to start making these a little bit longer, maybe an hour and a half to hour and forty five minutes. I'm not sure how long this is going to be. There's probably going to be a lot that I'm going to need to cut out. Um, but mainly because I don't, like I said a little bit ago, I don't want this series to drag on for like six months. Um, so, uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you.